take two. He was being a grumpy gills yesterday. So I'm making him redo it. What? Hey, play with your race car, play over here. You have to back up a little bit. There you go, a smile. You wanna sit on my lap? Hey. There we go. Okay, so what are we doing today? Talking about the Pro Charger swap after we've now done it and we've raced it. So, what'd you think? Uh, about the Pro Charger? Yeah. I thought it was loud. I thought, ow, right in my tooth. But you like the loud. I do like the loud. Um, I don't like that I, you turn the car on and I can't tell that it's our oh, car. Oh, yeah. When I don't like the, that. When she's in the trailer in the truck. Yeah. She, everything just sounds loud now. So we don't yeah. know if it's a bracket car that's firing up, a no. nitrous car firing up, or another Pro Charger car firing up. So. I did like, I liked how excited you were, and I liked that all weekend, all we did was make progress. We didn't, like, fall way behind and have a bunch of catching up to do. We didn't blow it up. We didn't break it. We didn't. I think it was a good weekend, all in all, honestly. I did a little blow up. Have, well, have a, have a little gasket. A little smidge. Say a little smidge. So, a little which head smidge. gasket failure was due to the turbo camshaft and I had the blower sped up all the way to make up for the shortcomings of the camshaft and the heads which are getting adjusted and uh, we just built a lot of cylinder pressure um, and it just wasn't real happy didn't have a way to get it out of the motor fast enough so um, that's all getting changed and that gasket was compromised for the last like three months and I just been kind of lazy to change it out and the pro so, charger just said mm, bye well I, I mean I was I was giving everything she had at the moment so Right. The turbos just do a, such a better job working with flow compromised motors. So the Pro Charger really needs everything to be free flowing. I mean, the more power I make on motor, the more power I make on Pro Charger. But the turbo stuff, you just always cram so much in it that you can make up for a lot of the shortcomings of a small head or something like that, which we, we've been doing for the last, you know, decade, <laughs> basically. So wrong pocket all right what's our first question um why pro charger i, I know well, actually we cut this out so yeah, that okay. why why pro charger yeah i know we told everybody like oh we want to be loud like brand and you know blah 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 but like for real why pro charger they are consistently deadly on the front half of the track as you may have noticed in our footage uh from armageddon i mean we didn't get hole shot it we had we had a couple people that were close but nobody was out front to the 60 foot or the 330 in front of us and that's why we switched in the just the first couple of passes the uh pro charger met and was on its way to beating my 60 foot and 330 incrementals with uh turbos um so that's i mean that right there is why we switched so i mean it really sucks an eighth mile race to be chasing somebody down if you can just go ahead and be out front that's it's so great. much better <laughs> because now they get to panic, worry, or rely on their tune-up to get them around me like I've been having to do with several other cars this year. And I mean, we've probably ran into 12 to 16 different Pro Charger big motor combos, but it'd be a big block Hemi, something like that this year. And they all ate our lunch in the 60 foot. And usually by 3.30, if they didn't have their combo quite sorted out, we were catching up. But, you know, in the first 80 to 120 feet of a pass, I was usually making up steam. I mean, I was having to come back from behind. And uh, I know that with a couple changes, you know, like the heads and cam change that we're doing, um, which Mueller and Race Flow Development's helping us out there. Um, and then uh, we've got a close ratio gear set order for the 400. Um, that probably won't be in for about a month. And then it'll take about a week or so to get the transmission rebuilt, which we haven't touched transmission since 2020. We haven't touched the motor since 2018. So that's why the motor's out. Is it's time for it to get uh It's time to get the motor at least looked at and make sure everything's good. The bearings look really good. But I mean the deck surface is a little questionable after years and years. So it's finally gonna get an O-ring in it. 
That'll help out quite a bit with what we want to do with the car in the future. So. I do have a question that's not on our question. What's that? <laughs> so I was reading a bunch of comments on our YouTube page and a lot of people think that mega cash days may have also influenced it influence your decision on going pro charger do you do you think that might have a little bit of truth behind it at all i mean the pro charge hemi cars are fast and as we watch more and more episodes of mega cash days unfold you'll see what's going to happen where are you going bye but, uh, I mean, yes and no. I think a pro charger on that kind of surface is a little more difficult to work with because the turbo, you just have infinite control of your boost. But um, there's still a lot to be said about the way the pro charger just consistently does the exact same thing every pass. So now we can actually work on chipping away those, you know, half a tenths, you know, a couple hundreds here and there. We can find that and we can fine tune the chassis to compensate with that as well and the converter changes with the turbo application there's there's so much going on it's you can run the same pass 50 different ways but on a pro charger combo you really got about six or seven ways you kind of run that same pass i mean between over fueling timing launch rpm gear changes stator changes i mean you really don't have you know in blower speeds blower size i mean it's not that many things you know but the turbo is just so easy to go Let's just add a little bit more right here. And then that throws off the whole pass. Um, or the air is different, or the motor's hot from the burnout, or you were taking a long time to get staged. And now you don't make as much power. You don't make as much boost as you would have on the tune for the last round when you're just trying to improve it just a little bit. <clears throat> so, make cash days. I mean, the biggest thing I learned out there is I need to stop bringing the LS to filming. I need to start bringing the big block every time if we do filming because there's always ways to manipulate it when you're sitting on the same surface for you know weeks on end doing this filming that you can create new ideas especially when you're there with teammates and things like that and you guys are like okay let's try this let's do this let's do that and we could have found more ways to be better and faster and i wouldn't have taken it so easy as Brandon james at first pass you know having the big block i would have just gave it some power and he would never caught us but you know live and learn maybe if they do a season three we'll, we'll make sure not out. we'll make sure i take the ls <laughs> so we'll still take the ls it'll just be like a backup ls though yeah in case i just i i like the ls she's gotten us out of some pickles she's won us some good races so i i'm always gonna have faith okay next question um let's talk about outlaw armageddon and that whole weekend this last weekend i mean we did a, a couple videos showing our testing showing how it went but we ha really haven't went into detail you know, looking at my banana yeah you want a banana no it's okay okay um because we got down there wednesday well yeah on sunday i mean we did the whole pro charger swap uh starting thursday with uh help of eric michaels and uh tyler and Dwayne, and we started ripping this thing down. Um, spent forever getting the balancer on. We had some material transfer on the snout of the blow, or the snout of the crankshaft that caused a lot of troubles. Finally got our balancer on there, and then everything else on the Pro Charger kit went really easy. And then I had to fabricate zoomies. Never built zoomies before. I think it out pretty cool. Um, got that all done with time to spare on Saturday. Took a breather early in the afternoon to go hang out with the fam. Yeah. And then uh, Sunday we came down for like a two and a half hour dyno tune session with the blower. Um, did okay. Made, I had some goals in mind, which we talked about, which was yeah. 1500 on the slow gear set. And I wanted 2000 on this fast gear set. We didn't quite get there, but I knew we also had shortcomings. I knew it was going to be a push. So, but I made enough power to feel confident that we could go run the number I needed to run arm again to do okay to do well I mean not we didn't it. go in thinking like oh we're gonna come in here and take everything I mean let's face it, it's the Super Bowl no prep I mean all your fastest guys that you always run into like onesie twosie groups across the country are all there. yeah they're all there so I mean it made it a lot more difficult we knew that going into it so just to go to round four in that field was great yeah but uh yeah we left Wednesday night for that um got down there got parked thursday tested thursday it was hot that heat was index so was in the hot. 120 range or higher uh friday was also blistering hot we were going to take friday off and then they're like oh you could do open grudge 
So, Megan wasn't a big fan of that. She's like, oh, I thought I had an off day. I'm like, no, no, yeah, I was there. very excited just to hang out and support Sean and them, because that was Sean and them's day. Yeah, so we good. ordered some pizza, we fed everyone in the pits, got everyone going. Sean did great. Yeah, he went round. Yeah, he so. did really amazing. But yeah, so we- I think uh, he went out to the guy that won, actually. He might have, I don't Black remember. Nova with the gold card charge pipe on it. Oh. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Armageddon was a good time. I mean, we, we made our test pass. It went into the fours on our first test pass with it. Um, so that was great. Our next pass was a little slower. We raced Cody Hoffman, pedaled a couple of times, but I was also having fun. I mean, it's like going out there your first small block Chevy, no headers, and you're just like, whap, 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 just having fun. It's loud, it's obnoxious, and it felt about as slow. But the draggy was not saying it was slow. The G-meter was not saying it was slow. Everything was moving pretty well. But it was fun to go out there and just have you know, instantaneous power, there's no spool up to it. It was super easy to drive. Um, it was even more fun watching him do burnouts though. So. Yeah, the burnouts were hilarious. I was having so much trouble. It it lights off so quick because I mean, there's no lag. You know, I'm trying to start off first to be easy on the tire and you know, it's a water only. So it's like, it, it's a, if you pulled up too far out of the water, it can be a little dry and it can be a little hard to get going. And so I'm trying first gear, the click the second gear, like roll, like manipulating the throttle and trying to keep it as easy as possible. And uh, that was not the way to do it. <laughs> so we kept getting tips from people and Megan came back with the best tip from Murder Nova, Sean Ellington. And he was like, just tell him to put it in third gear and just give us some throttle. He's like, that's all it needs. And I was like, there's no way. So our next pass, we went up there, I put it in third gear and I just gave it like 30, 40% throttle and the thing just burned out as long as you wanted to. There's no drama. You can sit there on a dry tire and do it no problem. I'm like, this makes no sense. So that was really cool. Um, I was also trying to use first gear. So the 400 now is a uh, 210, 160, 10. Um, it came out of a uh, diesel truck uh, years and years ago. We got it, refreshed it, changed some stuff in it, um, rebuilt the front half of it eventually. And uh, it's been pretty much the same unit since 2020 now. And it's worked okay with turbo stuff. I've always kind of wished it was a little bit tighter ratio, just that we didn't have a big change between the gear shifts. but. It's been working, and I like the high start line ratio to get us out of the hole with good 60 foots. But on the blower, way too aggressive. Way, way, way too aggressive. So, uh, through advice from other people, uh, like Daddy Dave and uh, David Merchant, a couple other guys, they're all in brand. They're like, let's put it in a second. So I was like, okay, we'll put it in a second. Sorry, using second gear leave on it. And uh, on the turbo stuff, it always either tried to spin or power wheelie. Um, or just wouldn't want a 60 foot. But on the blower with the zoomies, it was able to keep the front end down. It didn't, it tried to spin a little bit, try to squirm some, but that could just be stator manipulation that we need to do in a converter. Uh -uh. And uh, it really, I mean, it started working so easy. I mean, it was just so easy to drive. So it was probably the most boring fast passes I think we've ever made in the car. Why? And I think the car, the car was driving a little to the right. I think that kind of shows it started doing like right around gear change where it does lose some power, does lose some boost because of that big 160 to 10 drop. Um, and with a very, very tight converter, I mean, we had 0% slip going through second gear. And then we initially shifted into third gear, we see like 8 to 10% slip, and then it would go back to zero. So it was very, very tight converter for that situation. But I, I think it took the power away to cause the chassis to drive right, but no big deal. You know, it's still really easy to manage. Um, and then once we got in the grudge races Friday and the elimination Saturday, I mean, I didn't lift no more. I didn't have to. Right. Well, Friday though, we had some complications. We ended up, we grudge raced Grafton. Yeah, he did a big nasty wheelie. Broke his torque arm at some point this weekend. Um, and he's been fighting a going left and a wheelie problem. And I think he's got, you know, rod ends moving, or maybe the torque box is probably moving on the car. Um, and it just really showed its head because he was leaning on with some power there. So he could have had, I mean, he was, he did, he did really good against us in the grudge race. You can see him in the camera. Um, he cut a way better light than we did. Yeah, he got a good uh, good wheelie out of the car. Um, had a let out because he was going left a little bit and then cleared the pass. And then um, Matt Burrows. A uh, guy that Megan goes back and forth with bet dollar bills all the time, every weekend. Uh, he's like, he wanted a grudge, so he wanted to secure one. So we went out, we raced him. 
And uh, what happened? What happened? What happened? He did good. No, what happened with the car? I blew the head gasket. Mm -hmm. So, but well, like I said at the beginning of the video, I think we had too much cylinder pressure because of the small camshaft with not much overlap. Um, we had, uh, you know, all the boots going into it from the blower. The blower is at max RPM for F3 121, so it was making 46 pounds. And the gasket was compromised, and I don't really run an O-ring. So we just run the Titan ICS gasket for, you know, long, long time, like a decade. I mean, a decade, 12 years now. So, um... It was fun, though. I mean, I I hate saying braking's fun, but it was. Yeah, I mean, it was a nice team effort. I mean, we got parts from uh, Shane and Brandon Mock mm -hmm. um, and his group, and uh, they luckily had a gasket in the trailer. And they were just pitted um, like two trailers over in front yeah, of Yeah, so we were able like, to just go through the torrential thunderstorm that was happening that night when we were trying to repair <laughs> that and go through the lakes to get there, um, get the parts. And Dustin and Tyler were going to town, tearing it down. Uh, we had lots of people watching and hanging out. <laughs> so we had our tent all lit up really nice. Yeah, and, thank you, uh, NX, for our new canopy. It came in handy yeah, this weekend. Yeah, kept us dry. <laughs> So, and look, I brought some lighting from in here to go out there and hang in the canopy with us. Yeah, plenty of but, I mean, we literally had, I mean, Carrie Thompson was under the tent at one point. I mean, everyone was just making sure that we were good. We didn't need anything. Yeah, kind of hanging out. Just, yeah, just observing, giving any kind of advice that they could. So. Cracking jokes. Yeah, so we found <laughs> some sandy blocks in the trailer, surface to decks on everything, and had minimal, minimal, minimal tools. Had to borrow some tools from Matt Burroughs, thank you, sir. Uh, so we didn't have a three-inch wrench. Don't know why they have a three-inch wrench in the trailer, but it was. That's uh, probably my fault. I loaded the trailer. <laughs> was, we did switch trailers for the event, so. Thank you, Tom and Courtney, for that. <laughs> everything was all moved around, but we got to sleep on the premises, and that was nice. We had to fight traffic in and out to get. And we out. had AC. Yeah, AC. Which was, I mean, anybody that was there understands. Yeah, it was bad. It was so hot. So we got wrapped up around 3 a.m. on yeah. most of the swap. And then I couldn't set rockers to save my life. And I kept messing that up. And I was like, you know what? It's bedtime. We'll get up in the morning, refresh, get the lash done. The intake is glued on. The heads are on. We just had to put zoomies on it, rockers, valve covers, and we're good to go. And uh, so we got up the next morning. Kind of late. About 10. Yeah. Tech closed at noon. I was like, ah, hour and a, two hours. Two hours were fine. So. Uh, got I it got, all done. <laughs> yeah, got everything done. We went through tech. With uh, like 10 minutes to spare. Which, I mean, we could have probably, we could have pushed the, the dead car up there. Tech, then we would have had like another hour and a half to get ready before we had to make Yeah, the but you guys are the type that's like, oh, but we're so close. Let's just keep going and push it until we can't. <laughs> so, we got that done. Sounded good. Watching the videos later, it wasn't really that good. It was on seven holes. Didn't I couldn't tell that at the time in real life. Um, in real life? Yeah, in real life. So, I missed the push rod or the push rod cup on the rocker on number eight intake going back together. So, it just immediately kind of just moved over and number eight was out. It wasn't working anymore. Um, didn't realize that until after the first round, which the car still ran really well at first yeah. round. It only lost a few miles per hour not having number eight working. But it's 60 the same. It slowed off three hundredths in the 330. Um, and yeah, lost a few miles per hour. So it's like, well, what? Well, let's just check this thing out. Let's make sure everything's good. And uh, yeah, whole freaking rocker is off. That I did. It was mine. It was me. My fault. I did that one. Was that a 3 a.m. rocker? No, I redid no, it. I redid the point. next day after I slept. So that that was impressive to go as quick as it did like that so next pass we're like all right let's get all eight cylinders firing and it went fast it went even faster um same mile per hour but it picked up uh it sped up a little bit in the 330 and in the middle uh or on the way to the eighth mile so i was like okay that's great um first round we uh, got a call out from matt burrows so I he lost. wanted his dollar back. Yeah, he wanted his dollar back. I may have lost one of his tools, and I think he wants some revenge. So <laughs> we went after it in first round, and uh, he was putting up a heck of a fight. He was right there. 
um, who barely nudged him out to finish. And then uh, next round we got the Galaxy Camaro, which he's one of the guys I looked at. I'm like, hey, you know, I don't feel like he's got a lot of passes on his combo. I mean, he's got a couple years in it. But like, it's always been really fast in front half. It's another pro charge big block combo. And I'm like, man, like, I just feel like if I had that combo, I could probably improve on it and go a little quicker. So we drew him next round. I was sweating bullets a little bit. I knew that he could go as fast as we had been going at that, that point so far. Um, we busted out another improvement on the pass. Uh, we did fantastic, and we got him, I think, by a car or so. Um, so that was nice when they have it under belt. Megan was a little, a little nervous about it. She didn't tell me at the time, but she was a little nervous about it because he had. He has beaten us before, and we've beaten him before. Yeah. Um, the, I, uh, yeah, I was nervous the whole weekend, though. Let's be fair. Like, even Thursday with testing, you asked me to try and record from the bleachers, and I was like, okay, just so I didn't have to be, I didn't want to give off that energy to you. I also just <laughs> want to see how loud it was going past the camera. <laughs> pretty, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Third round, we got Pasta Rocket with the uh, blue Mustang. He was really nice. Mike. And Mike? I don't remember. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. Um, but very unassuming car and thinking anything of it. Uh, I just watched uh, footage from their guy's angle of our race. Um, he nailed the light just as hard as I did. And uh, if we wouldn't have, you know, started getting discs on him early, he probably would have gotten us that yeah. round. I mean, he was not far from us in the shutdown. If we would have spun or anything early, we would have lost. Um, so that was that was unexpected. So I, I mean, 05 body style Mustang. Not a lot of fast ones out there, you know. So don't think about your friend Kayla. Hers isn't really. There's nothing about that car that's really like a street car anymore. Not like this other guy's car. So. Uh, fourth round, we drew uh, Todd Spears. Flight risk. Yeah. Beautiful our car. Our journey ends here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, Jeremy did. Yeah, it's a very uh, nice car. Like it's, it's a car where you can look at it, get inspiration, take notes on what you should do next time when you rebuild your jump. So, I mean, I'm there. I mean, I definitely want to rebuild this whole thing and mimic a lot more of what has been done in that car. And, uh, we had a good race. Uh, I left him out of the hole. Looked like I had him. Um, everybody thought we had him. He got turboed. I got turboed. Turbo. Very end. He just, zip. <clears throat> he just barely got me. It was so close that we actually, Eric and I discussed it. We actually wanted to look at the finish line just yeah. to double check. Not that, you know, I mean, I we trust like... everyone, but it was just so close. I felt like I had him, but. But he's figuring out his his new ride yeah. and. But I, I got mean, to make our PB on yeah. the Pro Charger that pass, so that was great. I mean, that's the best way to go out. Is I mean, if you got if everything went as according to plan as it can, and all your little gambits you took and the tune and everything else was great as it could be and it improved the car. I mean, you really can't be mad about losing. It. So. No. Um, especially because I know how many things were holding us back, like heads, camp, murder, gear set, stuff like that. Anyway, you pick any one of those four things, who wouldn't have gotten me? It might have spun early, but who wouldn't have gotten me on the big end? Everything equal. So it was just really cool to find ourselves what in the final five out of yeah. sixty-six cars. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. I mean, with a brand new setup, it it was just it was a good weekend overall. Right. Good. Good, fast, consistent. It was good Moving seeing on. everyone, all of our friends. I mean, it was, because some people, I mean, a lot of our close friends didn't even know about yeah, this. Yeah, we, we kept it really so, quiet. I Pretty mean, much, if you came into the shop and you saw the box, that was knew. about the only way you knew. Yeah. I mean, and, and everyone that did know, thank you for keeping your guys' mouth shut because I was having an anxiety over somebody because he has a problem with blabbing. Secrets. Oh, he's so bad. So bad. I don't keep secrets and I really don't lie. No. So I'm really bad about it. You can tell when he's lying. So. Um, let's see, what else do I have for us? So all in all, Outlaw was awesome. Mark did a great job. Yep. It went by fast. I mean, out of all the events we go to throughout the years, and we Outlaw didn't happen last year, so it's the first time in two years. And uh, I don't know why, but I was so 
wound up, excited. There was so much going on to get there. And I mean, we knew we didn't have much of a chance to win, but we also went out there knowing that we were gonna get opportunities to test this combo out, shake it down. It's probably gonna turn some heads, you know, get some attention, which I mean, it worked out for the best. That's what we wanted to do. Um, and for it to be as successful as it was, it was funny to me. Everybody's like, man, Ryan, you just cannot make this car slow, can you? <laughs> I feel like you could change everything about the car and it won't be slow. Right. So. It was a good time. Yeah. It was, it's always fun seeing everyone from people that you tune their vehicles or watch them build their cars all the way up to yeah. people that we race with on TV, all being there under one, just yeah, at one, one track, just yep. one event. And it's just really, it's a really cool experience. So if you haven't went, you need to go. This is awesome. Yeah. So a recommend sleeping on site. Yes. Yeah. Don't. Once you get there, just unless you're gonna like leave super early in the morning for breakfast. Try to stay. Yeah. And it's, bring bug spray. Yes. We messed up. Saturday, the heat index came down. We got to a high of like 82 <laughs> instead of a high of like in the 90s, and uh, that caused the mosquitoes to come out. Because of all the flooding. And these suckers are so big. <laughs> I mean, you can feel them dartboard into you. Oh, so, that's about the only thing. That's about the only thing that kind of sucked. Good Lasted time. a week worth of itching. Yeah, I'm still itching, but it's fine. So. Um, we're going to be sitting out for a couple of weeks, getting yep. everything. So we'll get the motor freshened up. We're going to get some paint on the front end kick. So after we wrecked it in September last year, I never threw any paint on it. And all the humidity the other weekend is causing it all to kind of start surface rust. So we're knocking all that down, get that all looking good. And uh, it's amazing how little crap you need for the Pro Charger. I mean, no sensors, no Mac valves, no all kinds of different stuff you don't need. So there's really not a whole lot of like additional bracket to add back to the car. Now, that being said, you know, if we had to throw the LS back in it with the turbo combo, that's still doable. We can still do all that. Um, but it's gonna take a, uh, hundred thousand dollar more opportunity i think to warrant the work to go into it because i mean it takes a week or so afterwards to kind of fine tune everything back out to where it needs to be with the big block it's so, not just something it's not people just think that because you swapped it so many times that it's just easy and that you can go okay but you're making a, you're making adjustments every time you're out anyways and if you got a let's say you get a good draw first round maybe lucky enough to get something second round i mean that's only two opportunities to really make a change or a fix on the car if you don't have the rear steer right or they in a roll bar uh -uh. or something like that which i mean that's all stuff you need to be figuring out on a combo yeah. that worked last week needs to work yeah. again this week and maybe a small tweak so it does get difficult it's bouncing back and forth on motors and stuff and if you have opportunity to swap everything back and then get to a track that's similar where you're going and be able to shake the car down i mean that's one thing but that's difficult when you know want to be home with like that little man or you know, or other two preteens. We got two others. Yeah. Uh-uh. And uh, yeah. everybody's growing up so fast. So yeah. more time I can spend at home, the better. So the least amount of work I do this thing, the better. And uh, we'll take the next couple weekends to work on this one. Elvira, um, I'm doing some updates to her. And uh, maybe Megan will talk about Elvira a little later on. So. Yeah, later on. We might do like a video next week or something. I'm kind of in vacation zone. Yeah, I, I am going to get a family vacation with all the kiddos. For our anniversary, we're going to head down to Destin for a weekend. So I'm I'm in the zone. I'm already starting to pack, trying to figure out what I'm going to wear, all the activities we're going to do, all the toys that we need for the sand. Like, I'm, I'm vacation. Yep. Yesterday I wasn't. Yesterday I looked at him and I was like, if Elvira was ready, I want to be out like right now. But now that it's hot and I'm not by the water, I'm like, eh. That's the other thing. Vacation. It's so hot. It really is not. It really takes away a lot of enjoyment from the racing. Yeah. So, so, I mean, right now, I mean, it's July. We're going early August. And it, it is the, the hottest parts of the month in the Midwest or parts, hottest parts of the year in the Midwest. And everywhere we go is just nasty and it makes it hard to take logan <clears throat> and the other boys just because they don't want to sit out in the heat i mean oh yeah let's play on that logan's got hot wheels on the hood of the car like i didn't spend 
days, you don't care. Yeah, it was fine. It's fine. So yeah, so a couple weekends off, vacation. We plan on trying to do, possibly if I can talk him into it, uh, NPK Tulsa, maybe try and even get in on the Local. little locals only. <clears throat> if I don't really know how to go about that. I, I need to, I guess that's Kayla or someone. We've I never know. raced an NPK. We went and watched once. We watched yeah. last year's Tulsa race and uh, we've never competed ourselves in an NPK race and um, that was one of the consistency things we wanted to do with the Pro Charger. I mean, the turbos were fast. But I think I could be faster like this. Right. That's the goal. And so far, it's really leaning towards that direction. That gives me the confidence I need to go and play with MPK, which every now and then does attract, you know, a couple of really fast, heavy hitters. Um, but I mean, I wouldn't mind doing that because the money's not bad. It's consistent. It's a good show. Lots of people we can hang out with. Not that far away. Yeah, the I mean, Tulsa, Tulsa one's is not. not very far away. The race after that's 21 hours. Which one's that? It's in Idaho. Oh, for them? Yeah. I thought you meant for us. I was just no, no, no. Uh, yeah, if, if we wanted to chase it a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm chasing that. Hard. But, but, but it's at Firebird Dragway. I do feel like that's probably a bucket list track that. Yeah, it is. 20, what are we going to do in Idaho? Pick Race. Potatoes? Race. We don't ever do anything when we travel anyways. Yeah, but it's still like we, we, cool we to try, say, we oh, we went to California or we went to Arizona. And it's like, oh, we went to Idaho for the weekend. <laughs> like, Apparently she does not like Idaho. I've never been. I I've never been either. I can't That's be why Jeff I don't Hill. know. But potatoes make vodka. Who doesn't like vodka? I like rum more. You're getting old. It's just tastes sweeter. So. Set over there. Goldfish. But, yeah. uh. You got it going on and school starts. Yeah. But with this combo, we also are changing to focus more on faster surface stuff. Just kind of, kind of we have been doing all year. Um, and that's what led me to this decision of, you know, we're just not, it's great to have the flexibility of the turbo combo. Yeah. Um, but in order to consistently stay fast, we kept running up against these combos, the pro chargers, and they're Did just tough. Things? So tough to beat. So, especially once you store it down on somebody's car. Um, and we always have Elvira for, if we decide to stop following like the true street daily stuff, we could always turn Elvira into like the back of the track. Yep. If that's where the money continues to go. Cause yeah, that's May, I mean, the last couple of years, that's where the money kind of was. Has been going. Yeah. This year, not as much. It's right. Been, it's been kind of even with the tree side. And let's face it, who likes to build a really expensive high horsepower car just to go out there and go slow all the time? Right. I mean, it takes a special kind of person to want to do that all the time. Right, so we have Elvira and I love to go slow, so. But she's not really that slow. She's pretty peppy. She's okay. She's, she's about three to four tenths off the pace for backwards track right now. And I'm working on shaving that out of it right now. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Well, no but beat. some people don't think that I should be driving. I can't handle her or her power. Eh, she can handle her fine. We'll go Radio over all that, though. We'll do a video later this week about Elvira and what we are doing, what's been done, what happened. Yeah. All that so. good stuff, so. Yeah, Pro Charger, digging it. Elvira's yeah. coming back. Been making updates to it slowly over the last couple weeks. Yes. So I'm going to hopefully try to get all that done before we go out for our anniversary trip. So that gives me like one weekend to go. And yeah. then, um, yeah, that way she can get back out there and start making passes and we can start doing- uh, No trailer stuff. Yeah, no trailer stuff. That's really yeah. what that car is built for. Cruising on RC, you listen to some music. Doing no they trailer races. technically by then. Ah, uh, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, we got heat too, so yeah. what's the matter? So. All right. Make we'll sure you, you like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mama. Yeah. Help and us get those numbers up. We'll try, uh, I guess start trying to ask some more questions and we'll try to, if we see a trending question, we'll start trying to do an individual yeah. video to start answering those. It gets really hard to try and get in between clips Race with weekend. Ryan when we're racing. I know a lot of people probably wanted a little bit more behind the scenes um, in our small tire going. race from Saturday. But 
yeah, once he gets going, it's that's it. Like, you don't get in his way, you don't talk to him. It's like a hamster on a wheel. You just let it do it, leave it alone. Thank I'll get off my track. Yeah, my so um, we'll definitely try and start doing more videos like this, though, kind of going over the week or. Yeah. Yeah, so. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll see y'all later. You pushing?